will you experience at a knock em dead comedy murder mystery show? Suspense. Excitement. Love. More love. Violence. Well, not really. And, of course, some music. Knock em dead comedy is the number one murder mystery troupe, entertaining thousands of people for over 20 years. You have a great night of one. Their hilarious murder mystery shows are full of audience interaction from beginning to end that will keep you laughing all night long. Their shows are not to be missed. Knock'em Dead Comedy's murder mystery themes include a mob show, a redneck wedding, a high school reunion, a family reunion with a luau theme, or your own custom show. John, you have a good time tonight or what? I had an awesome time. All oh, right. Oh, I had a great time. She had a great time. That's what I'm talking about! Yeah, yeah, all right! Fundraisers, private parties, corporate events, restaurants, and more. Contact Knock 'em Dead Comedy for your event today. The Knock 'em Dead Comedy Radio Show also brought to you by Two Eagles Auto Body. For more than 25 years, Two Eagles Auto Body has been the leader in auto body repairs and customer satisfaction on Long Island. Two Eagles Auto Body handles every type of auto repair from custom applications and restorations to repairs involving insurance claims. So call Two Eagles Auto Body and ask for John Rossi at 516-328-2527. Hi, I'm Danny Bonaducci, and you are watching Govs Radio. This is where you go if you want to see something or if you want to hear something funny. <laughs> Coming up in just a couple minutes, this is a joke I told. What? What? I'm not on Dove Radio. Call the police. Call my agent. How do you say there, people? It's Johnny Brennan, creator of the Jerky Boys, also of Fox TV's Family Guy fame. I just want to let you know you're listening to Tony and Sally on the Knock 'em Dead radio show. They're going to keep knocking 'em dead, so keep listening, you wacky sons of bitch. Uh, right there. Over and out there, sweet Charlie. <laughs> hey, Tony. You're not funny. And you probably shit yourself a lot. And you're no fun to be with. And you don't make that much money. And you're not going anywhere in show business. And I hope you get hit by a bus. And... <laughs> Three and two to Mookie Wilson. Little roller up along first. Behind the bag. It gets through Buckner. Here comes Knight and the Mets win.
Hello, Tony. Mookie Wilson here, 1986 Mets. How you doing? Long time no see, man. Hey, man, I miss you guys, man, that knock them dead comedy radio, man. I miss you. I wish I was still up there, man. But I'll wait till it won't be a little bit, and hopefully this year things will be a little bit better, man. But when you have, we're talking about comedy, hey, the early years of Mets was a lot to laugh about. You had to make a lot of comedy off those guys. Hey, hope to see you guys during the summer, and uh, hopefully you'll get back on the show, man, at some point in time during the course of the year, all right? All right? Yeah, fine. Contact me, man. All right, Tony. Talk to you later. Hi, everybody. Happy Thursday to you. Uh, Bosey just called me a sexy bald man. All right, I'm signing off. <laughs> uh, thank you, I guess. Jeff? Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Knock em Dead Comedy Show here on Gov's Comedy Club uh, podcast, the Twitch channel. Thanks for joining us here on Twitch. Please share the link to this show on all your social medias and tell everybody you know about all the great shows here at Gov's Comedy Club podcast, whether it's here on Twitch or on YouTube or wherever the hell you find this stuff. Brandon's here. What's he doing back there? Oh. And Rob White is here, ladies and gentlemen. Rob White. Hey. All right. <clears throat> first question. First, qu I'm putting you on the spot, Brandon. Oh, are shit. you my Are you my Thursday guy now? I'd li yeah, I'll be your Thursday guy. Let's you're do in. It. Nice. Cool. We need a secret handshake. Oh, we can do a high sign. Uh, you're, oh, you're not even familiar with the high sign, are you? Little Rascals. No, are you they used to do the high sign. Thing? What? It's like, you know, no, the the Little Rascals. Oh, no. I thought that was the you, Honeymooners. I had no idea. The Honeymooners used to do this too? No, I don't know. What did no, the Little the Rascals did this as their high side for the high sign for their He-Man Womanators yeah, Club. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Tell yeah. me more about your old man tales. <laughs> 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 I am. I am. Have you never seen the Little Rascals? No. Oh, that's bad. Is that like um? Is that like the, is that like the Goonies prequel? What the fuck. <laughs> there's, there's only like there's only like maybe fifty or sixty years in between. Okay, got it. You never even heard of the little little rascals? I, I got a pet rabbit. She's a little rascal. Oh my goodness! You know they started filming on Long Island in Sayville. Like that was like the first like handful of episodes. That's really? Was. Yeah, yeah. I, I did not know that. Long Island history thing. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you're a big history in, buff. But yeah, it was Sayville. Strangely <clears throat> enough. But. All right, so, rascals. Ah. All right, so you've seen it. Thank goodness. Because yeah, you're yeah, you're a little younger course, than me. All right. Of course, Buckwheat and Stymie yeah. and I and I met characters. Spanky when I was 21 years old. I met Spanky. I, I swear to God, it was I it was like meeting Santa Claus. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah, like, yeah. and I I even said to him, I didn't know what to say to him. I I just as I was shaking his hand, I go, it's Spanky. Uh, I really, I was like, <laughs> but all right. So that's your assignment. For next well, Thursday. I was going to say, I'll watch Little <clears throat> Rascals. You send yeah. me some good Little Rascals. I'll send I you will. a good episode of Dragon Ball Z. I don't even know what you're saying. Dragon what? Dragon Ball Z. Dragon I'm Ball Z. Man's uniform. Oh. What is Dragon? Is that an anime? Yes. It's like, it's it's the anime. It's the anime. More recognizable than Mickey Mouse, they say that Goku is. Wait a minute. Yep. Where? In America? No, like worldwide. Worldwide? Yeah. I don't believe He's you. spiky haired guy, wears orange, fights yeah, bad guys. True. I bet it's like half sad. the people that come into the shop. They're like, can I get a uh, Dragon Ball Z tattoo? Animation. I have no idea. It's Naruto. I'm like, I don't know what that is. is that, <laughs> I don't know. Wow. <clears throat> you just made me mad. No, you got to use that. You got to use that. <clears throat> yeah. What saying. Well, actually, I got, I got beef with you. Oh, cool. Oh, God. What did I do? All right. Well, a <clears throat> couple of things. First off... <laughs> Couple of things. That's right. You're in trouble. Oh, shit. All right. I love well, it. no, the, no, I, no. You're only in trouble <laughs> with one thing. But my issue re around you is that you've been making the round. You did Don Show, and then you did Joey Show, yeah, yeah, and yeah. now you're here today. Right, right. But whose show did you agree to do first? Probably um, Don, right? 
I and, don't remember the order. All right, either, no. all right. Before you agreed to do my show before you, before Joey's, I bet. I believe so. All yeah, right, good yeah, enough. Yeah. That's all I need to yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, because that that came really quick. <laughs> I don't want to. You know, I heard it here for first. Rob's a radio who well, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just happy to be in, in the governor's studio here. It's just yeah. cool. Oh, absolutely, and we're thrilled to have I'm you. Such a confused and you're a person. good guy. Oh, no, I'm just being stupid. That's what that's what I do. <laughs> that's really what this show is. Like, it's an but no, but what you're in trouble for is because when you did Joey's show, <clears throat> you were talking about. Um, I think you're talking about like weird tattoos or just weird things that people are into. Yeah, yeah, And you yeah. mentioned people who like the monkeys. That was your example. The monkeys, yeah. Well, I just thought it would be a funny band to get tattooed, and then years later be like, oh, I got the monkeys tattooed. Have you heard of the monkeys? Uh, they gave AIDS to people, right? <laughs> <laughs> wasn't that, wasn't that, their that is song. what they're for, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. They give AIDS to the people. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard about the monkeys. I don't know how to spell it. I Spreading I AIDS I against everybody in Clarksville. <laughs> M O N K E E S. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're monkeys fan. They're one of my favorite bands. So you said that, and I, but I, like we were talking about before, we went on the air. That wasn't my show, so I'm just sitting here off camera producing, and you said it, and I was like, made fun of my monkeys. Made fun of my monkeys. Maybe you'd know if this is true or not, but I was told that a lot of the monkeys songs, if not most of them, were written by Neil Diamond. I wouldn't say most of them, but a lot of them. Cheer up, sleepy Gene, like that. Daydream Believer. Actually, I don't think Daydream Believer. I don't think Daydream Believer is his, but but he did write. Sounds oh, um, I'm a believer. Is Neil Diamond? I'm a believer. Yeah, that's Neil Diamond. That's I know Neil. Neil's a Neil's a homie. You know Neil? Crackling Rosie, man, that's a great song. Oh yeah, there you go. That's a karaoke go-to. Nah. Oh, let's go. Let's hear it. Are you going to do the instrumental for me? No. Bam, 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 bam. No? No. All right. <laughs> you want you want me to find some on YouTube? Yeah, get the, get the karaoke going. I'll and you'll sing it? it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, big time. All right. Wow, wow. This is I went to singing college. Um, you went to what? I went to singing college for a year before I dropped out. Real college? Is that like Hogwarts? Like magic? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't take a, a singing college. I didn't take a sick train. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's just doing doo-wop. <laughs> no, they teach you how to do like opera, and it's like, can I learn how to make money? Wait a minute, you wow. you went you did that's... opera? Well, that's when you go to singing college for the most part. Uh, you know, well, I, I want to hear that after this. Oh god, I didn't warm up on the way here at all. <laughs> what are you gonna do? La 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 la. You, you nailed it. That was a good. Now that... <laughs> just doing Wait, a half step up. No 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 no. No. All right. Well, I'm uh, are we really doing this? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. You Can I hear it through it. this? Right. Yes. Oh shit. Good times. It's eleven eleven. Make a wish, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I need the words. It's been. It's too early in the morning. Ah, oh, crackling Rosa, get on board. <clears throat> We're gonna ride till there ain't no more to go. We're taking it slow. Lord, don't you know I'll have me a time with a poor man's lady Hitching on a twilight train I'm done this day <laughs> I was waiting to get to that bar, 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 bar. Yeah. <laughs> That was fantastic Oh, thank you, Simon Thank you, Paula I don't know where Randy is Everyone's got a second day Alright My secondary talent is a new set so wow. what kind of uh that's fun. And they made you do opera too? Maybe. I mean that's just like yeah, it's like what you learn. The cool honestly the coolest skill and how it's translated to stand up is like I can just get without losing my voice, I can just get very loud cuz the idea is they want you to fill up a theater without a mic. Ooh. So uh yeah, no, it's been you don't fun. Need the microphone. I do some like shitty bar shows <clears throat> and PA goes out and you're just like What's up everybody? We don't need it. <laughs> yeah, projection. I like that. Yeah, yeah I like that how you leaned back. It's a, it helps you get in the, it sets the the <clears throat> organs yep. in place. I don't know. I had the same music teacher as Billy Joel. And yeah, what used, happened, huh? Uh, well, <laughs> he, so he's, he's one for two. <clears throat> but he, yeah, he used to say that. He actually used to tell us, sit, make sure your back is fully against the back of the chair, sit totally straight, yeah. and he would teach us how to breathe. And he made sure, he worked it out with the school, that class, the, the chorus class was at, was at a particular time of the day. Because he felt that was... The atmospheric that, pressure at 2 p.m. is really... <laughs> well, he just felt like not too early because your voice, you know, needs time to warm up, but not too late because you've, I guess, 
use your voice all day long, I guess. Or maybe okay. you've eaten or something. But he made sure it was like 10 or 10.30. I forget now. Hmm. But it was around that time. Yeah. He, oh, the guy was great. Their craft. That's, that's Absolutely. I about timing. <clears throat> but thank you because you deflected from Rob for being in trouble for the monkeys. Well, I was going to say, now what song are you singing, Rob? I'm not alone out here. <laughs> Sing nothing. <laughs> can, you, can you get a camera, go to a karaoke, and do some opera? That would be fa- like opera karaoke. That would be hilarious. I see, there's a guy who used to come to really? the bar all the time, and he used to do uh, <clears throat> one of the Pavarotti songs. I'll tell you, is there more than one? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. It was oh, like solo one of the mio. More familiar ones that everyone was singing, and it was just like na 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 na, like that for like the whole time. I'm like, this is a towny bar. We're drinking Bud Light, <laughs> exactly. <and> Jameson shots. <laughs> if, like, I, if you want me to get a, the biggest possible target on my back for all these people to stab me in the parking lot. <laughs> It's do show tunes or opera at karaoke. The That'd closest I will do is Goo Goo Dolls. That is the closest. How is that close to show tunes or opera? Yeah, I'm just saying on the too. spectrum, oh. it's closer. Well, that, the spectrum of getting your ass kicked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're on the spectrum. I'm confused. <laughs> it is Different autism awareness spectrum. month. Johnny Resnick, or whatever. His name is. Yeah, Johnny Resnick. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. it. Can't stand them. Yeah, they have like two good songs in my opinion. A weird. Uh, they were a great punk band before they were famous. Right, I always heard that too. That they yeah. were punk and then they went pop, and I'm like, ah, <clears throat> that's yeah. weird. Nah. The Goo Goo Dolls. Terrible name. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Although I did see them at Jones Beach. I did. Okay. I'm not lie. And Matchbox 20. And I don't give uh, a shit. I can lose all okay. credibility, but Matchbox 20 is a great live concert. Really? I yeah, I, I saw I them twice. That. Really? I went upstate the following week to see them. They were so good. No kidding. Yeah, I, I was surprised. Yeah, it was one of those things like, ah, my wife likes the <clears throat> Goo Goo Dolls and that. Ah, you know, let's go. Yeah. And then I was like, no, we go we go twice. This is wow. good. So, yeah, strange. Some of, there are bands that are like that, though, that you're just like, I love this band, and you see them, and then they just... They they suck a bag of crap and then oh, sure. and then another band you're like oh I guess so and then you see them and you're like worst concert you ever saw <sighs> I saw this band the Gaslight Anthem oh sure I thought oh, they were yeah, they be were... really good because they're a really good band but yeah, they're yeah. not they were not live it was the Paramount which uh, I have a lot of issue with Paramount the acoustics in there the I acoustics think, in there are bad for a live show they suck yep. So, I like the. You know, that might be I love the Paramount, album. but I'll. I like the acoustics in the space much better. Because it's smaller and less. <clears> I mean, it's a warehouse. Let's be honest. Yeah, it's a warehouse right, right. Open metal ceilings, giant metal fans. It's not good. It, yeah, it's not good. And then bars are on the left and right of the of the stage. Which, if you're just going there, because, you know, there's a lot of just drunk people that are right. like, you know what, uh, uh, who's playing the Hoobastank, uh, you know, <laughs> Blind <laughs> Melon, uh, they, they don't give a flying shit, you know, right. it's Blues Traveler, great, and they just go and they get hammered and talk crap the entire time, well, and this... I might want to see John, you know, Popper, I don't know. Oh, I've seen John Popper. Yeah, he's yeah, harmonic, a legend. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I saw. I actually saw him uh, at a Pearl Jam show. He jumped up on stage with Pearl Jam. What? Yeah, that was, that was a great cool. show. That's pretty cool. Just so you know, this Tuesday at the Paramount, Mickey Dolan's of the Monkeys will be Oh, there. you're going. I actually, I'm not, but I'm pissed about it. Fake fan. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen uh, Aerosmith twice in the last 10 years. They're great. That's they're a killer They're so bitch. good live, and they're, <laughs> yeah, like, they are. they're like 90 now. I know. And if you sit far enough away, they're on they're on enough drugs that they're moving around like they're 20. So if you squint, you're like, oh, wow. Oh, yeah. These guys are, yeah, no, they're, they're still, nah, it's, they're it's still a amazing. Live show they're still amazing. That's a, he, yeah, Steven Tyler is definitely amazing. I saw them when I was younger uh, a couple of times, and they were really good. Hell yeah. Them and, uh, I had to see Bruce Springsteen. That was... I've seen Bruce. People will, will hate on him or love him, but <laughs> the guy puts on a show. I feel like he's up there for six hours. Yep. What are you doing? I, I, I'm one of those... I, I don't listen to the politics of any celebrity. Any, I, so, I'll, so I'll go and see Bruce and just enjoy for what it is. I don't like the, the one song he has against the cops, the 41 right, shots. Yeah, 41 but, shots. But, he, I mean, he doesn't really do that one too much. It's a great drinking song, though, 41 shots. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but the first time I ever saw Bruce, a buddy of mine was a huge Bruce fan, and he got us ninth row center. Man, and like you said, these marathon yeah. shows, it was, I'm telling you, it was like a religious experience. I was like, oh, oh yeah. my God, I have never seen anything like this. And I've been a huge Bruce fan ever since. That was nine, 1999. And I I think it was the next day. I went out. I think I had maybe two albums. But I went out the next day and bought everything. No, it's, it's, I keep telling my wife. Incredible. My wife's like, oh, I don't know. <clears throat> I'm like, I'm telling you. You go to see him live. Oh, God. A phone call? 
<laughs> well, it says it's coming from Georgia, so my guess it's a telemarketer, but we'll find out. At headquarters? <laughs> well, and there you go. All right. Oh, I get nervous. I feel it was like, just like James was up front and was like, no, nah, we don't talk about Bruce. Like, <laughs> I should talk about whatever you want in my club. Springsteen. Keep dunking on the Paramount, though. Please. <laughs> there, He's got some weird beef with like, Springsteen. Like, I didn't know. I'm sorry. That, 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 no, they're very good here. That, but that did happen once, and I won't say the comedian's name, <clears throat> but he said something. He, he had some kind of disagreement. He was doing an, doing an appearance here, and he, and he had some kind of disagreement with the club. He mentioned it quickly. With uh, this club? Yeah. He <laughs> Why was, would you he do was that? in here. He's sitting right where you are. He was playing the following weekend, and he had, a, 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 yeah, a, a di- just a slight disagreement. Wasn't a big deal. Why he brought it up, I have no, no idea. <clears throat> um, and I deflected and got out of it. And then uh, when the show was over, he got even more mad about the situation. And he actually, he then moved to the chair in the end and he, he started yelling, right? And, the, you know, again, we're off the air. And I'm just thinking, you know, go yell somewhere else. The show's over. You can go, you know. But then he started pounding on the table. Whoa. And that's when I was like, oh, this guy's going to freak out on me. Like, like he's going to go postal or something. But I, but I took the chance, and I leaned right into him. I said, you're not going to smack my freaking table. I said, if you got a problem, I said, you got to go. And he left. And then sure enough, Ange came right in. She's like, what did he say? What did he say about the club? I'm like, holy shit, I didn't even know you guys watched. <laughs> and then five minutes, not even five minutes later, James called me. Yeah. Hey, you're going to tell me what, what he said. I was like, uh, okay. You know, what? yeah, it was, it was stupid. You're going to be a brain surgeon <clears throat> to come in here. You know what I mean? You're going to talk crap about someone in their home? Like, you, right. you're, you're in, you're in right. governor's house. Oh, now they are. <laughs> yeah, now, now we're now getting everybody called. Well, now now it says cell phone. I usually don't answer if it doesn't, if it doesn't ID it, but I'm going to take a chance. I'm excited. Hello? Hi. Hi, my name is Jason, calling you from Energy Advocates. Oh, How are you today? I'm good, Jason. How are you today? I am doing pretty good. Thanks for asking. Sure. I understand you are the homeowner of a single-family regular house, right? Uh, did you say I'm a homo in a house? What? <laughs> what did you say, Jason? Get back over here, big boy. Get off the phone. I think we lost Jason. I think we lost Jason. Oh, well. Thanks, Jason. First time caller, long time <laughs> listener. Listen. Last time caller. <laughs> Do you have solar panels? Like, what? Uh, that's what I, I said with the first call, that it could voice. be uh, a telemarketer. And unfortunately, that's the bulk of our phone calls that's here. just uh, hilarious. You got to stop giving the number out. <laughs> yeah. No, well, sometimes well, yeah, sometimes we mess with them like that. We had yeah. uh, one time Fat Jay went on for like 20 minutes with a lady. I think she was from Optimum. He went on for like 20 minutes. It was hilarious. Well, One time we Fat had... Jay. <clears throat> Fat Jay. Fat awesome. <laughs> Love him. <clears throat> One time we had a guy... Oh, we oh we had um, a Sally who used to do the show with me. She got a text. No, we had another guest in here. He got a text saying, you know, one of these things, if you don't <clears throat> call us right away, your, you know, your loan will be... I don't know. Or, or no, you, the IRS will be... Is on to you. You must call this number yeah, right away. Yeah, something yeah, like that. Yeah, fun. <clears throat> so we had Sally call the number. The guy answers, and sure enough, you hear his dog barking in the background, so nice. he hung up quick. But we called it right back. <clears throat> she starts, like, play, you know, playing dumb. Like, what's wrong? I need to know what's going on. Am I in trouble? Do I have to pay money? What do I got to do? She's playing dumb, and one of the guys in here then pretended to be her husband starts yelling at her, and, and we start going like this, and she's yelling, ow, ow, ow. Oh, my God. The guy uh, threatens to call, the, you know, the telemarketer threatens to call the cops. And we're like, you're going to call the cops? You're the one who's pulling the scam here. It, it was hilarious. I actually, I, I posted it. It's, it goes on for like 15 minutes. It's hilarious. The guy's yelling at the husband, you're a fucking coward. I'm going to call the cops, you piece of shit. Oh, it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> it's great. You so know, in uh, Mumbai, he probably beats the <clears throat> ever-living shit out of all his wives. Yeah, true. Uh, when an opera singer gets sick, he has a fever oh, fever oh. Oh, who is that? Goodness. Can you that's, ban that person from the chat? Andrew Fremder, yes. Oh, oh man, do. that made me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bosey likes the idea of doing karaoke Thursdays. Jeff, you come in here and uh, and sing, and we'll do it. But you have to come in here. And I'm when I say come in here, song? I mean come into the studio, not any of our asses. Yeah, yeah. 
Go back to we that know again. he wants to. <clears throat> right. Acoustic in the space is my wife's favorite. Yeah. Acoustic in the space. Paramount. Oh, I, oh, I, I was just thought there was a joke there, but I missed it. Acoustic All right. In the no, space. Is that what you call it in your English. house? Oh. <laughs> acoustic in the space. Well, that's what you're. Uh, into, huh? <laughs> that's your safe word. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Rob White, tell us the truth. Well, about what? About Don Sill. What about Don Sill? What, did you crying like a baby when you when you tat? Oh, did, oh, what's, yeah, what do you yeah, say? Yeah. Do you say did you when you tatted him? What, what, he, you, when you did him? What do you what do you say? Well, I don't want to say did him. That seems well. Like I know, right? Back to anal again. <laughs> uh, what do you? What's, no, the, what's he, the what's I, the wordage? Uh, tattooed him up. Whatever. Yeah. Tattooed him up. Yeah. Tattooed. Yeah. He uh, no. He lot. sat great. He sat great. He was in there. <clears> yeah. Was I don't fun. believe it. It was cool. No, no, no complaints. He was like, uh, like he a, didn't a cry. Not patient. a single tear. Nah, nothing. I know, I know. Everybody wants me to talk and tell you, it was, and it's not a fun area either. Inside your arm, inside Whoa. your arm is a terrible little spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, wait, no, I'm trying to remember where I went. I thought I went inside up, up in here more. Oh, did you? I don't know. I'm inside, asking you. I don't I know. I thought it was inside. His, you know, now I can't remember. You did the gooch. Isn't that terrible? I have to actually look back to remember. That's how many I do. I'm so <clears> completely <throat> lost in life that I forget how many tattoos that I've done. And, and well, yeah. All right. Tattooed. So how many tattoos would you say you do in a day? I mean, these days I'm slow. These days I'm definitely... I know, but we're yeah, talking about your tats. In, it was inside, okay. towards his armpit. That's what oh, it was. Oh, okay. No, he... Uh, I mean, nowadays I'm probably doing like maybe three to five. You that, know? And that's considered yeah. slow? Yeah, for me oh. it is. Because, well, you know what it is? I, I'm there from 12 o'clock till at least five or six. And then I want to be leaving and doing shows, open mics, whatever I can to just get up, you know? Right. Uh, but with, with tattooing, I mean, I used to do... Um, you know, twelve o'clock till nine at this shop. No at, kidding. At our shop. But when I was working at my dad's shop, that guy is savage. We had uh, two shifts, so and some days I would just work the entire shift, and that was ten a.m. to midnight. Wow. So I would do ten a.m. to midnight, and like when I was younger, Shit. I mean, I bet you I probably still could now, but I had energy, so I would just. For whatever it was, I'd be like, you know what? This Saturday, we're going. We're going forty-eight hours, and they'd be like, "What's what's wrong with you?" I'd be like, let's just do it. Let's just stay here, and we'll stay. And you do twenty-four, and I do twenty-four, and I get the guys together, and we wow. would just keep the shop open the entire weekend. It was crazy. Were you on a lot of drugs? Yeah, yeah. No, I just a ton of coffee. Really? Even to this day, people it's are always like, "Are you on cocaine?" I'm like, "No, I'm literally just it, it's caffeine and cigars. That's it. You know? <laughs> caffeine and cigars. Caffeine, coffee and cigars. That's, that's it, the name you of your know? first comedy album. That should be. That should be it. Yeah, that's I all like you that. need. That's you know." Great. Just a good wow. cigar and a good cup of coffee. And, uh, yeah, no, and I did uh, 24-hour days a couple of times. It was crazy. Jeez. Well, yeah, you said on Joey's show that your record is, what, 54 tattoos, was um, it? The first time I did it was the week after 9-11, and that was 50. And then no one believed me. And, and so, how? And what, uh, in what time span? Uh, that was... Um, or just 50 years. in a... Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah 50, right. 50 in a row from, like, 11 o'clock till maybe... Two o'clock in the morning, somewhere. Oh, in the so night. so yeah. the record isn't in the amount of time. It was just no, how many you did in a no, row. No, no, in a row. And then I did <clears> another <throat> uh, time, and that was uh, my twentieth uh, year of tattoo, and I did fifty-one tattoos. That was a lot longer. Jeez. That was about twenty-two hours. Oh, but they were crap. all like palm-sized, you yeah. know, tattoo de designs. So you know, three, four color palm-sized <clears throat> tattoo designs, fifty-one. I don't know. It just gets into you, and you just want to do more and more. And it's is uh, that a was that pun intended? It just gets into you. Uh, the tattoo I gets. The waka waka hour here. Governor's what's radio. the what's like yeah, the, the grossest much. spot you've ever tattooed? Like, have you ever given somebody like a spider web around their butthole? No, I mean. I, <laughs> we were talking I was about, thinking about that. We talked about, about that last that. time, but not tattooing people's buttholes and shit yeah. no but i've tattooed like some people that i'm like what is going on with this human being like <laughs> just hygiene is not universal no, you know what not. i mean like i brush my teeth like two or three times a day like that's me some people don't do it ever you know it, it's it's out there um i remember i tattooed one girl and i saw some microscopic <laughs> bug run across her skin and that was yeah. my what? moment. yeah that was my moment of like Oh, what do you do? Like, I finished the outline. I was doing the color, and I see this little tiny, like, I don't know what it would be, like a mite yep. or something. Just or a bed bug. Beelining across her skin like it lived there. And I just, oh. I took a full bottle of alcohol and sprayed her whole entire leg. And, and you know, that's like, that's like putting aftershave on after you cut yourself with shaving. You know, I didn't give a fuck. I was like, you're on fire. <laughs> I'm killing everything that lives on you. Yeah, there are some gross people. They just don't clean Oh man, you're wow. preaching to the choir. I'm I'm wearing an anime hoodie. Like uh, you go to like a game <laughs> store, you go to a game store. You're playing like video games for money or trading card games for money. Like half those people, uh, you have to like have an announcement like, uh, 
deodorant is mandatory. Yeah. There's a shop I go yeah, to. I'm it, not going to say the it. spot because, like, I don't, I don't know. I, I fuck it. Rip and chip gaming. I love the store. But they, in the dead of winter, are like, we can't turn the heat on. Because if we turn the heat on, those three guys that reek are going to, like, stink up the whole store because they don't oh. know what a shower is. And I'm like, I will walk up to those three guys and tell them that they are fucking pussies for not showering. Like, they're yeah. ru- like I, it's like 10 degrees in there. Great store. Go buy your trading cards from them. You have to. Some people, though, I'd just be like, <clears throat> what are you doing? What do you do for a living? You got to go back to go back home and shower. I worked in Gloucester, Massachusetts for a while, which is, like, the fishing capital of, like, the Northeast, mm-hmm. like... Ooh. They film de- the deadliest catch, like the bar scenes there. They film the uh, <laughs> wicked tuna gets filmed up there. The, the the Gorton's Fisherman's Plant is right there. You could smell it on Tuesdays. They're making fish sticks, so oh. it's a fishing town. And I tattooed there, and it became normal. People would come in just reeking like fish. Wow! The first time I, I was like, I looked at the guys around. I was like, What in the hell is that? Like, oh no, it's just Gloucester. And after a while, you get used to like people coming in with like the Grundens bibs on, like yeah, right, just, right, right. Yeah, I need to get this tattoo here fixed up, there, pal. I'm like, all right, you got to go home and shower. You smell like clams. But yeah, I mean, there, there's definitely maybe I don't know if it's the fish or what, but mercury or something. But yeah, I don't think they're that smart up there. <laughs> well, you, how do you pronounce the town? Oh yeah, no, it's spelled like Gloucester, but right, it's Gloucester. And then when there's also Gloucester. Um, so Wish, yeah, yeah. All that, all, say it again all. from Wister, right? And that's spelled Worcester or something. Yeah, yeah. Worcester. Like, yeah. The hell's my, um, wrong with you people? My wife is from from the Cape. <clears throat> from her whole family's from Plymouth in the Cape Cod area. Yeah, and and, you know, and, and they're you know, some of their accents are just so bad. Oh, is that how you ended up oh, tattooing yeah, up there? Because yeah, your yeah. wife, yeah. Oh, okay. our friend, was up way up there. Gloucester is like Gloucester is like the Montauk of of Massachusetts. It's like you. In the dead of winter, I went up there and tattooed. So imagine wow. going out to like Mass- uh, to Montauk and being like, right. "Yeah, let's, let's tattoo here. Like, let's just throw away all our money, <laughs> right, and just live with fishermen for for the winter." Right. I mean, a great adventure, but at the same time, like, what are we doing there? The and Berkshires the is, nice. is hard. Yeah, the, yes, hard. it is. Yes. Yeah, the Berkshire is all the way in more. In, right. In, yeah, in that's more Inmore. towards yeah, New York. Yeah. yeah, but that's a nice area. Oh yeah. yeah. You said the Montauk of. Of yeah, it's, it's, I was just thinking a, nice areas. Gloucester's like a towny area too, <clears throat> right? So yeah. like, I pretty much lied immediately when I was there at the bar, and and because the girl that worked at the bar, her boyfriend used to tattoo at the shop that I was at. So she's like, "Oh, do you did you know whatever James?" And I'm like, "Oh, James, yeah, sure, do we have yeah, cool, yeah, great." It was the Crow's Nest up in, in, in Gloucester, which is the the bar from uh, Deadliest Catch, not Deadliest uh, Catch. Um, what's what's the movie? Perfect Storm. And Perfect Storm, Mark Wahlberg, oh, and Clooney. Yeah, and Clooney. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the actual bar. So when <clears throat> oh, she wow. was like, you knew so-and-so. I was like, yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. I remember him. Yeah, yeah. And Why? Like, if you said no, they would have put you in oh, a dungeon or something? it's one of those, like, fishermen's bars where they're all like, why are you here? Oh, I'm from uh, New York. You know? <laughs> oh, cool. Yankees, you know? like that. Right. <laughs> oh, true. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, of course I did. And then she was like, oh, you know, yeah, he knew James. And I'm like, yeah, we want to yeah, yeah. Like three oh, weeks later, they're like, you don't know James, do you? I'm like, not at all. <laughs> but you, I know you guys now. Right. That's good. This is when you had the captain's hat and the beard, oh, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. That- I looked like I just walked right off a wharf. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. I did. It was fun. Uh, let's see. Yeah, shout out to Miguel. What's going on, Miguel? We got a what's up, nerds. What's oh, is that Miguel? Yeah, I like Kool Aid. Miguel, so very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I, I yeah. feel bad. I missed my last dork court appearance. I was, uh, my buddy took me out east. There's a pinball place in Patchogue. Very fun. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Very, very fun. Right. But we, we did edibles, and my buddy's driving back like a drunk sailor, and I got like very, like, car sick. And I was like, Miguel, I can't come. My tummy hurts. <laughs> <laughs> so, sorry about that, bud. <clears throat> yeah, I, I Miguel, if you didn't, if you miss it, I did apologize to you on this show a few a week or so ago. Uh, two Fridays ago, Ms. Miguel was supposed to be here, but I had to cancel. I had a God damn, everybody's I, canceling on Miguel. I know I had Such an issue, so I uh, and and it turned out he was able to come in. So I I reached out to him. I said I can't do the show. I said, but please come in next Friday. He's like, I can't because this Monday I'm starting a new job. I'm like, son of a bitch. He's never I've never had him before, and I wanted to talk about Door Court. I, I'm. It sounds to me like the the, the coolest thing along with a good Broken Mike. Dork Court was a lot of fun. I, <clears throat> you I, did it? I, no, you know what? I regret I didn't do it. So I went there. I was I was here at the show uh, at the show here, and we, we left me and Steve Rocco Perillo, and uh, we went over there because I'm like whatever, let's go. And 
And it just was like, I don't want to do this. I don't know. But then I, I had so much fun like reading the message boards on people just roasting these comics. Yeah. Like I feel I feel bad because <clears throat> you do your material, but they're just roasting you from the second you get there. Well, yep. but yeah. I never laughed so hard. Well, that's what I mean, Hugh real laughs. Um, Good stuff. Yeah, well that, that Hugh Murray, he said it's it's yeah, he was there. It's yep. weird because <clears throat> he agreed. Everything they're writing is hilarious. Yeah, yeah. He said, but it's weird because the audience is the whole time they're looking at their phone because they're reading the comments. Yep. So he's like, so it was a weird dynamic to sit there and tell jokes of people that are sitting there on their phone like that. Oh, yeah, but I mean, they, they tear <clears throat> into you. It's, it's yeah. great. Oh, it really is. So yeah, I felt that's bad hilarious. I didn't go up, and I was like, oh, I don't want to go up. And then I felt like a jerk going home, like, who are you? Are you too cool for school, Rob? You can't go do that? You could have done that. You're a loser. You're going to do that now. Get up there. Andrew Frenders, uh, what's the matter, Frender? So All right, so first off, he said, um, the color of that shirt. Now I know why I've heard a helicopter flying around for three hours. Um, the orange shirt. I yeah, I don't know. Well, I think, I think you'd be one of those. Oh uh, yeah, I got to get a little those little waiver cone, you guys. Uh, uh, and then he's making fun of me with my pun before, but if it was said by him, any everybody'd be like, "Ah, oh, shut up, you suck." Yeah, pretty much. Man, anybody that types LOL in all caps is like gonna murder somebody <laughs> later today. <laughs> LOL in caps? Yeah, oh, you yeah. just don't do it. It's a bad look. <clears throat> Really? Oh, yeah, I know, I know. I know, yeah, you got to explain to me, I'm I'll, old. I'll, I'll teach you the etiquette, I'll teach you the etiquette. I do that with my son, and I'll put, and he'll actually come to me, he's like, why are you putting it in capitals? I said, isn't that what, isn't that what you're supposed to do it? He's no, like, no. It, it, now it I do it to my gonna, son on purpose. It means you're going to stab somebody. That, yeah. and I feel like, I feel like, <clears throat> like, dudes 45 and up use uh, ellipses way too much, like dot, dot, dot. Oh, and yeah. And for, for oh, our generation, dot, dot, that dot. means you're, like, pissed. That means you're, like... Like being sassy, you're like, well, I guess we won't do that because you fucked and canceled plans. Dot dot dot. So like, sometimes we'll get a dot 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 and be like, why does this older person hate me? And I don't know. But it's you like realize a different culture, different culture. <clears throat> but it's just proper grammar. So you're using ellipses? Yes. I didn't know that. Not thought, when you're mad. That's my point. You guys are understanding it wrong. Uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. Look don't at listen these to me. schmucks sending all these dots. <laughs> these <laughs> shit. They're so mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> and Fremder, I, he's like, the thing to do is tell Fremder how much he sucks. Take it easy over there, pal. Take it easy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this guy's on a rampage. <laughs> <laughs> Bosi says, I want Rob to do me, but he has to wear that while Kangle wear. while I wear my fedora. No no self-respecting <clears throat> Irishman will wear a Kangle, okay? that That's reserved for like... Um, yeah, that's uh, not a Kangle. Yeah, no. Right? It's like, well, yeah, your Kangles are like those hats you wear backwards when you're like a wacky 90s comic. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> jazz club. You know, you come in like, hey guys, it's me, wacky 90s comic. You know what's a Kangle, Jeff? <laughs> I love Jeff Posey with his, his, little, his little short brim fedora. We're going to have a hat day. Carol says, my girlfriend lives in Dorchester, and it oh. took me years to say it correctly. How do you say Dorchester? Say Dorchester. Dorchester? It's like Dorchester. Dor. Dor. I'm just, no, there's no R, so it's Dorchester. Oh. I'm just digging the fact that she <laughs> said she has a girlfriend there. So yeah. I'm, I'm just picturing Carol and her girlfriend. Yeah, but they're going to have, they have a, a wicked good time <clears throat> up there. Like They're going to talk like, ah. Uh, it's yeah. so gross. It's like the mailman from Cheers. You know what I mean? Yeah, Cliff. Like, just imagine, imagine like two lesbians and they're doing it, but they both sound like the uh, the guy from Cheers. Yeah. I, I graduated fifth oh, grade. Yeah, I'm do me smart. Do me harder. You like? I like it right there. It would take more than that. More than that to turn off the lesbian porn. Oh yeah, just yeah. put it on mute. Pretend yeah, they're, that's pretend all. They're deaf. <laughs> 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 uh. Well. The, the moaning would still sound the same, I would oh, think. Oh, no, it would sound even... Wow. I don't know if we can go there. <laughs> sound like a Canadian goose, you know, getting hit with a field hockey stick. I'm just saying. Deaf people <laughs> having sex, I feel like it's probably the worst <clears throat> sound ever. So you got some experience in this? I know. I just, I, I used to know this guy that was, was deaf, and if you weren't paying attention to him, he would yell at you, but, like, he didn't have... How would he yell at you? He would just like. Would it be like? No. Well, that's he would just do jazz hand aggressively. Like, <laughs> he would write everything, but if I wasn't paying attention, he would just do like you know. Ah, ah, and I'm like, oh, oh, can you, can oh, you wow. not? Can you not do that? Because I used to explain to him, I'm like, you know how you can't speak words. Like I don't do sign language, so if I ran up to your face and I did like this in your face, I would be making fun of your language. You're making fun of my language. You yeah. you sound like a. Like a trombone in the middle school orchestra, you know? Like Charlie Brown's fat parents. Remember them? Yeah. You know? well, wah, 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 wah. Yes, ma'am. Wah, 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 wah. Five. Oh, look at that. I got called sensitive. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, try, how about, try a new one. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not sensitive. It's like we just have our own way of, of interpreting that stuff, and uh, you all you got your own. I'm going to go cry. I need a second. <laughs> Dots okay. made you sensitive. That's, uh... Shut up, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> How do these dots make you feel? So, so, all right. So, all right. I think we. This all started from me asking you if Don Sill cried. No, he, he's not a true. Good, huh? He's a good patient. You know, have I mean? you? I, I actually enjoyed him. Yeah, he's good. Yeah. You yeah. haven't done Don Show, have you? I don't think I'm familiar. No. Oh, you, you don't even know who that is either. I don't know so many things <clears> and people <throat> and places. All right, I'll have to hook you up with Don. Show. He does a show here. He does, you does tattooed one of my here, buddies. I'm sorry. Right? House. He he, yeah, like, he does it on yeah, Zoom. So yeah, it's a Zoom thing. Oh. Really fun for that. <clears throat> but I tattooed one of your. Uh... Yeah, he did. Well, you uh, know Dan. I do know Dan. Yeah. I wanted to bring up a story about Dan. He, yeah, yeah, One of my yeah. favorite stories from high school. I bring it up to him every time I see him out in the wild. Wait, so I tattooed Christian Hahn. Yep, yeah, yeah, yep, yeah. Yep. Of course, did his first tattoo. He did a church on him. Which, like Christian, we're Christian. buddies, but barf. God is dead. No, wait, wait, wait a minute. You did a church on him? Like, tr- yeah, like, like a tattoo of a church? Like, like a building? Like, yeah, an old school, like, you know, like Midwestern church kind of thing. Oh, wow. His name's Christian. You kind of <clears> well, there you go. He's going to get the devil, you know. Like, yeah. Get a pentagram, and but like one of them, you know, the Ben Ben Margera, Bam Margera pentagram, where it's like balls oh, in the, the dick. heart. Yeah. Gra- oh, balls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's different. Maybe that's Stevo. Maybe that's Stevo. Oh, he uh, probably is because Bam's got the one that's a heart. Yes, but Stevo probably did one as a dick because Stevo's tattoos are all hilarious. Yeah, that guy's uh, now, that guy's freaking hysterical. Who's this guy Dan? We're talking about Dan. Uh, I graduated Szymanski. high school with him. Yeah. Oh, a guy to graduate with who coincidentally yeah, got a tattoo from Rob. No, no, with. Rob yeah, he tattoos. He tattoos with me. He's oh, part, he tattoos. He's part in of the your Black place. Duck crew. Yep, yep. yep. He works oh. there, and uh, he's probably working right now. Actually, so that's funny. I have to tell him we we're talking. Stop about watching him. and get back to work. <laughs> talking smack about him. So yeah, you guys went to. He's a uh, East Northport, Northport. Yep, High School, East Northport. Right? Uh, okay. Well, yeah, Northport High School. Uh, senior year, him and I were in a guitar class, which just meant that we took our guitars. Went into the hallways and just fucked around and didn't do anything. <laughs> I remember those kids. Every lunch period, they were just over there, yeah, like, oh man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we there was another guy in the class, this dude AJ, and AJ back then, not the brightest guy. So we convinced AJ that girls don't poop. It's like an easy sell. <laughs> I think it's an easy sell. And um, so we're sitting there. <laughs> Dan did this. Me and Dan. So but what happened was we were all just sitting in the hallway jamming on guitars poorly. <clears throat> And whenever a girl would walk by, me and Dan would like we'd look at each other and be like, yeah, yeah. And we'd be like, hey, uh, real quick, we just got to, this guy doesn't believe us. You don't poop, right? And <laughs> half the girls that would walk by were, were on our side and they were like, yeah, of course we don't poop. And then the other half just thought we were gross and kept walking. So all of this one guy AJ heard was like, girls don't poop. And the whole time he's just like, guys, I know my mom poops. I know that for a fact. <laughs> So what's the deal there? And then we made up. I, I actually think I thought of this. Oh, it was man. like a, it was like a bear hibernating thing. We're like, oh yeah, it's kind of like they, they, it's all plugged up until you have a baby, and then like it jostles it loose, and then they start pooping. <laughs> but this guy like went to college thinking girls don't poop because we were we were on this for months. Oh man, so you guys had like the shittiest health class on earth, right? I mean, did anybody even try to teach? But they don't you tell guys? you about poop stuff. <laughs> yeah, but they we all knew how to you... fuck. We didn't know. <laughs> we didn't know girls were pooping. Oh, that's friggin' hysterical. AJ yeah. didn't walk into the girls' bathroom at any point? He wasn't that dumb. Oh, he's not that dumb. Yeah, no, no, no. I feel like you get in trouble for that, no? <clears throat> well, not now. Not now. It's, <laughs> you know, it's just one True. big universal. This just put a one, hole in One the big joy. <laughs> we all just shit and piss in this hole. Everyone's in it together. Yeah, it's friggin' funny. You guys <laughs> went to school together. That's yeah, sad. but that was that was like one of that's my favorite story from like senior year. That, that is a great story. Convinced a, a, a real person that girls don't poop. <laughs> that is great. Yeah, it's good times. <laughs> I learned something new and where today. is AJ now? Like, the, the, did they ever come back to you? Like, you sons of bitches. He didn't go to the ten year reunion. I didn't think I was going to go to the reunion because that's lame. But it ended up being uh, super fun. I saw Dan there, but uh, no to, AJ. I did. I was supposed to go and I had a comedy show that night. And I never went to my reunion, and now I just would never go because it's like if you don't go to the ten, it's like. You need to go to the 20, 30, I don't know. What? Oh, that's weird. What? What? Yeah, if you missed the one reunion, why would you go to the next <clears throat> one, you know? Mm. Because yeah. you missed the last yeah, one. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I always feel like, <laughs> I felt like I missed that episode, so now I'm, you know, what am I going to go? Like, I'm going to see episode number three. I didn't see episode number two. So I yeah, but happened. see, but that's the best part. That's when the people, <laughs> the people who weren't there, like, the, this is like the, the triumphant return, like, oh, look who's back! Oh! 
We know? did your obituary last time. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I need more success. I want to be like better. Like a lot of like kids. Oh no, you're like, fine. Doctors and shit. No, like, tat. Uh, fuck the doctors. Tattoos and comedy, and you perform here. Well, no, I'm telling you, they're gonna think. I get people. I can't tell you how many people come to me about working here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, well, this is. I really, this is an I this insane place. This is like, yeah, the epicenter of <clears throat> Long Island comedy. So, you gotta love this. Yeah, no, it's weird. I was tattooing in high school though. So it was like no kidding. So oh, that's right. Your father that. got you yeah. into it early, right? Yeah, I started at thirteen. So wow. I literally did it. It was and now you're only school. fifteen. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, God, I wish. But I mean, I really did full time until I was eighteen. Right. So you know, it's a little like white lie, I guess, whatever you want to call it. No, it counts. It, it so counts. I was there. I was in the right. shop. I was working. I was doing things. I it wasn't counts. Full time. Totally you know, counts. You know. So that. So what are we talking? Like thirty years at this point, right? Yeah, it'll be thirty, wow. forty-two. Yeah. 90, and how? Ninety-three to two thousand twenty. What are we in? Years? 13. Three. What? what 23. Oh, we're 22. Oh, 2023. Yeah, right. yeah. Yeah, that's 30 years. Yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Math. Math was not my skill. Even we all screwed teachers, that they up. They knew. They were like, just go to art class. <clears throat> we all know you're a failure and you're going to tattoo anyway. <laughs> okay, cool. So I, I can count money. I was so not ready for a math question because I was just thinking of, about this. If a, if a black guy comes into your shop and asks you to tattoo the N word on him, are you allowed to do that, or is that you saying the N word? Oh, you know what? That would be interesting. Right? I don't know. Um, I I've never had that. <laughs> I feel like if that happens, you're probably right. It probably has to be a black tattoo artist. Yeah, right. I feel like I feel like at least a Mexican yeah. tattoo artist at the very least. Yeah, you'd have to you'd have to be. Yeah. I feel like that most of them probably wouldn't do that though. Although I did have a, a, a gay gentleman come in, uh, I don't know if we can say that word on here or not, but uh, I have a gay, gay? no, no, no. <laughs> a gentleman. Uh, it, was a j- it was a gay gentleman who came in and he's like, I want to get a, a f- faggot written on me. <clears throat> really? Like, Why would you get that? And he was like, because that's my word. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's, this is our word. And he was like, very serious. He's like, yo, because that's my, like, that's my so word. So you are trying to take that word back, like, in the same way, like, the N word got taken back. Yeah. In the community. And he's like, yeah. And I was like, all right. But I talked to him for a little while about it, and it was like, maybe we shouldn't do that. You know? So <laughs> maybe, that, maybe that you shouldn't do. You seem like a decent guy. No, I'm know. thinking yeah. it's uh, it's on him because it's his word. He's one that wanted oh, it yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. But I hear what you're saying. A lot, of, a lot of the public would come down on you for actually putting it on him, right? Yeah, the public sucks anyway. Yeah. I mean, I don't even care about them anymore, you know? Like, I don't want to, I don't want people to think I encourage anything. Like I, like, I always say, like, I'll do whatever they want. I, you know, as long as I can make it look good, stay right, yeah. solid and clean, I don't care. Because right. you know what? I mean, I'd say ninety percent of the stuff that people want to get, I'm just like, really? You want that? Uh, so <laughs> forever. <laughs> so if I made decisions for people, like no one would get tattooed anymore. You know, like what do you want? Everything just to me. I'm like, that's stupid. Get an eagle. Get a battleship. Right. You know. So when, when I, I have can be a decision maker, I have a prosthetic leg, and on my socket, um, you could you know you can get that tailor done. Yeah, so yeah, I, yeah. I have the Mets logo on there. Yeah, but well, you said that last time was it engraved? <clears throat> oh, on Joey's show, yeah. But I did, I, you, you said it last time, but I wasn't <clears throat> sure. Like, is it engraved in there, or is it like uh, like like painted? Or no, it's it's yeah, it's like printed on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, I mean, I've done it before. I don't care about doing it on the air. I don't care. I mean, I could show you, but I'd have to drop my pants. I don't. Do you guys care? Yeah, do you want to see it? Whatever. Yeah, absolutely. You want to see? It? You know what? I don't care. It, like you guys yeah, never seen a man in his wants underwear to before. Pull his dick out again. Yeah, you know, I mean, you know, like, it's, been a, shows it's been a while. Wild man. Oh wow, there oh, it, it is. really is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's Print huge. It. All right, yeah. I thought it was just like the small, like the uh, the, the Mets, uh, the bridge and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, oh, you got the whole thing. Like, you're a dedicated like Mets. Yeah. Oh, yeah. absolutely. And but, that's that's like that's not really painted. That's like cooked into it. Right. So that, yeah. Yeah. So I consider that like a tattoo, but the reason I'm bringing it up is because I tried to get them once. Cause I get, I get a new one every year. That's the way it works. Mm. <clears throat> and I tried to get them a few years ago to put, uh, talking about the little rascals. I tried to get them to put buckwheat's face on there and they, they wouldn't do it. Cause they probably thought you'd be <clears throat> like, a yeah. And I, I actually explained to them <laughs> when I was in eighth grade, I dressed up as buckwheat for Halloween and then the name stuck. That was my nickname all through high school. Wait, you nice. did, you so, did hey, No, I didn't. I just did like 
you know, they put the hair up, but I dressed similar, and I didn't oh, do any okay. blackface. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just, you know, I was walking around like this all day. <laughs> oh, hey. Switch, At least your parents were smart enough <clears throat> to be like... Right. Because I was a kid, like, see, that's the weird thing. People, sometimes with blackface, I don't think that people realize it's not because you're trying to make fun. It's because, like, like, I grew up with all... Oh, all, I'm a huge Little Rascals right, fan. Right. That's like, all it was. We're my, going for accuracy. My <laughs> heroes were all black in, like, the 90s. Like, they were all, like, who, every one of them was Michael Jordan and, and Michael Jackson and, you know, Mr. P. Diddy. T and, like, everyone, like, from the early years were all black you know so i want to be mr t for halloween and they let me go and do everything except for that you did the mohawk was, yeah i had a mohawk um nice. like thing that went on my head oh, 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 and oh i had like the, you know the camouflage <clears throat> jacket and the gold and wow and I, I did yeah but i was like why can't i be like mr t's like color they're like right now nah, maybe not which in in defense of my mom it wasn't because she thought it was racist i think it was because she was just lazy i think she was just <laughs> like i'm not gonna shoe polish <laughs> My entire kid, and that's going to take hours away from me, you know, s- smoking and watching <clears throat> Guiding Light. So, yeah. but yeah, they they refused to do it. They were like, "No, it's racial. You're going to get in trouble. We're going to get in trouble." It's like it's yeah. nothing. But when I was a kid, I was actually walking through Sears and Hicksville with had a, a buckwheat shirt. It was just a big picture of his face right here, and I'm walking down the aisle with my mother, and these three black guys are walking past us. Right, we just as we pass them, all of a sudden, I, and they spin me around. So now I'm facing them, and I, I scared the li- like not because they were black, just because somebody grabbed me and spun me around. Yeah, yeah. Scared the shit out of me, and they're bo- all three of them standing like this, just looking at me. So I'm frozen. I'm just, I, I, I didn't know what they were gonna do, but of course I'm thinking, oh, they, they don't like this. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> but it was like, it felt like eight minutes was probably six yeah. seconds, <laughs> but, and then like. It was like a button went off. All three of them at the exact same moment just started laughing and pointing. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Holy shit. And they're calling like other people they were with over. Take a look at this shirt. This is hilarious. I was like, oh, thank God. Um, You know, it's a a nice thing about anime for my, you know, my, my, me and my peers is it is a bridge to a lot of other cultures. So like. Much like music is. Yeah. So like, I'll be, I'll be like walking around, like if I'm doing mics or spots in like Brooklyn or Queens. And, like, the most hood-looking black dudes will just be like, my N-word Goku! And I'm like, I can't say that word, but yeah! Like, it's just, a, it's like... A, you can't <laughs> say what word? Hush now, Mr. Tony. I can't. I'm the what did you just say? The N-word. Oh. They'll be like, my N-word Goku. Oh, all right. See, I didn't, un- I didn't even understand what you yeah, said. Yeah, that was so. a lot of... <laughs> my N-word Go- Goku? The main character of Dragon Ball Z <coughs> is, is Goku. He wears this orange shit. Oh, okay. And uh, I-, I make friends wearing this. But then, like, especially when it's, like, friends you don't expect. It's beautiful. It's okay. beautiful. So they actually stand. say, yeah, they'll actually say the word to you. My N-word, Goku. Like, they'll actually yeah, say, yeah. and I'm like, yes, Goku. <laughs> right. But, uh, no, it's uh, it's nice. It, it, but that's bridges, the, it bridges, you know, different. No, wait, the, so the character's culture. name is Goku. They're just saying my N-word to you. Yes, I'm like, the N-word. Yeah, with, like yeah, the, yeah. right, It's yes. hard now. We can't even have normal <clears throat> conversations. You never know. We have to use codes these days. Cause God. No, you could. No, no, I know. You just got to use the, the air quotes, N-word. like on the word fag. <laughs> it makes it okay. Right, yeah, right. Miguel right. called that out. That, was a, that made me laugh so hard. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you said that, he's like, the air quotes. Lol, not, no caps. <laughs> Let's uh, let's go back Miguel a little bit. Um, Jeff oh, Be- Jeff's saying the '80s high school reunion. That's uh, Jeff's talking about one of our murder mysteries. Knock and Dead comedy performing a murder mystery in Amityville on April twenty second. April twenty second. It's our '80s themed high school reunion murder mystery. If you'd like to come see it, go to knockemdeadcomedy dot com. Uh, Bo, she's de- debating to come by. If you come by, you're singing. At my last high school reunion, says Fremder, my friend showed me a picture of himself when he was younger. I replied, every picture of yourself is when you were younger. Uh, what? Yeah, okay. Then the, the air quotes. The I don't air know what that was. If Why don't you just tattoo, enter here on his asshole? Oh, my goodness. Sweet. Wow. Wait, as a, as, a, as a tattoo artist, <clears throat> you must know the classic dad joke where it's like, I don't get tattoos, but I'm going to get two M's. Oh, one on each ass yeah. cheek. So I bend over. It says "mom." And I stand on my head. It says "wow." And the wow. I, my dad tells that joke yeah. once a week. Like it's clockwork. Those jokes. That's that's the <clears throat> reason why I don't do a lot of tattoo humor. Is because to to yeah. normal people, like the jokes that they they like are like all the you know all the jokes that like oh yeah yeah no I want to get a hundred dollars tattooed on my 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 pecker so that my wife can blow my money. Hi, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> and like yeah, I get it. But like and the jokes that I want to do <clears throat> would leave people like. Oh fuck! That's my tattoo. Like that's what I wanted. Like yeah, I know. That's what yeah. we're talking about behind closed doors. No, I can't do it. What's yeah. the hardest tattoo you've ever had to make? 
Um, the penis. Oh, no. I'm <laughs> checking this out. I was doing this guy's back piece, and I outlined it by machine. Back then, piece? Yeah, it was a whole back piece of this, like, oh, oh, oh. geometric okay. pattern. Like his whole back. Yeah, okay. I outlined the whole <clears throat> thing, and then I was going to I hand poked the dots in of the whole entire back piece. But, like, I got, like, the halfway point, and I was like, something's hurting in my side. Like, I got to go to the hospital, I think. And my wife's like, okay, oh, the hospital again, because I always seem to want to go there. And my oh. appendix was going. Oh, so like, I feel like hand poking a geometric back piece while your appendix is like leaving the scene. Even my appendix didn't want to be there. You wow. know what I mean? <laughs> I think that was probably the hardest. That was probably the hardest. <clears throat> I've, you know, uh, we're talking before about succeeded in. music in uh, high school and 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 whatnot. Yeah, yeah. Does some kind of like art? I think we even said something about art class. Does something like that, like having a art background, like drawing or painting, does that? Come into play with tattooing? Yeah, I don't know anything about 100%. tattooing. I mean, years ago, tattooing was more of a... <clears throat> you, you didn't have to be any type of artist to do it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? You're talking about, like, you know, up until, like, the 60s, 70s, I think most people would just come in, pick something off the wall, that's what you get, stick it on your arm, stencil it on there. It was more... And it still is a craft. You have to understand oh, absolutely. the parameters of how things work, because it's not just... Art, you could do any style. You could, you could, an elephant could shit on a canvas, and you'd be like, "That's art." If I do that on your arm and, and it doesn't say your kid's name, you're gonna be really pissed. So, yeah, there's definitely more of an art background to things than there ever was. Before. Like if you, like if you um, could draw that, that helps. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Like, <clears throat> right. I, and I and I draw constantly. I oh yeah. I paint constantly. I draw. I, I started draw. doing yeah. uh, a whole bunch of. I and I don't do portraits, but I've been learning how to do it. Um, so now I just I do like portraits of like uh, comics. Oh, nice. I get bored and I'll just be like, all right, let me do like a stand up comic portrait. So, oh, you should have brought yeah, some. No, I, I should actually would have been kind of cool. I did, I do mostly like, you know, <clears throat> bigger names and stuff, but like I recently I did Jessica Kearson, her picture, which was cool. Really? Um, but she makes such like an ugly face on purpose. <laughs> no, on no, purpose. She, not, 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 she's not, you know, an ugly person at all, uh, but she'll make like an ugly, like, <laughs> face because she's a great oh great she's humorous. hilarious and yeah. so i was like i want a picture of that so i did that so i kind of feel like i did her justice but it's sort of almost at the same time like well you made that face i didn't make you do it do you but. post these pictures do you reach out to the yeah, comedians yeah, you do yeah, i've never do. seen it i post them up on my instagram oh I'll, on instagram uh, I don't, i'll share them through yeah <clears throat> so um, jessica has jessica seen it yet I don't think she's seen it. But Maybe you did post that one? she hates it. I'm not sure. All right, because we've, might hate we've had a running joke on this show for years now. Jessica used to do uh, her podcast in here. She used to record it in here. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Eventually, she moved. I think she started doing it in the city. But we became friendly with her. And we were we started asking her to come on the show and hang out with us. And she said yes and didn't show. And, you know, okay, no problem. Sorry, I'll come on this date. Well, that day came and she didn't show. This happened six times. Oh, six? wow. <clears throat> and yeah. she is still yet to come in. Uh, I'm at the point where I even stopped asking her. But it's been a running joke for, with people who have watched the show for a few years that they'll, they'll occasionally make jokes about, you know, who's on tomorrow, Jessica? <laughs> That's so funny. So now I'm curious. Like, I'm wondering now if I say, hey, look, oh. we can present you with this I should, picture. I'll bring, I'll, I'll bring <clears throat> it in. I'll well, I'll, I'll reach out to her, and I'll I'll have whatever. you. Well, I'll have you come in. You, you can, can present it to her yourself. I thought it came out pretty good, you know. I'm not, <clears throat> yeah. Like I'm not a portrait guy, but I just started to. That's all I draw is portraits together. Really? Yeah, yeah I, I could draw no portraits. Yeah. Okay. Well, like pencil or uh, what yeah, are you doing? pencil, okay. yeah, and then yeah. and then maybe I'll go over it with ink, and then I'm done. I, any kind of painting or coloring, I completely suck at. So it. replication, but. <clears throat> but you know what? That, that but if you can replicate with pencil, you could probably replicate with anything. It's just a matter of you're not used to using whatever style. Uh, it is, I, you know, I, tattoo gun. Let's yeah, do it. Yeah, live. You, can, you can. You can do live. You, you let me be your guinea pig. You just gotta. I, I really need a detailed penis right on the inside of my forearm. <laughs> detailed. I'm like detailed Jonah. Penis. I'm like Jonah Hill in Superbad. Man, I just draw a cock <laughs> all day. Just, draw an, just have someone like lay it on your arm and then just trace it with a magic marker. And then you can have it like actual like you know size. Like. <clears throat> when when Lawrence Taylor football guys, are you you're you're not a football guy. Not huge sports. Nah. <laughs> All right. Well, no. when when Lawrence Taylor, you know who Lawrence Taylor yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. No, but I'm here for the hang. <laughs> what do we got? <laughs> Lay it on me. It has nothing to do with who he is. When he was um, after he retired, the Giants retired his number fifty six. I think it was. <clears throat> so a buddy of mine was going to the game, and he said. You know, I'm going to bring a bed sheet to your house. Can you draw him? You know, and then I'm going to hang it up at the game. I said, okay, great. So we go out 
into my because it's a bed sheet, you know, it's big. Yeah, it's tough so we to so we went outside to my my patio and I drew it and then both he brought in like it had to be like twenty blue markers because we, you know, we were coloring it in. So you know the 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 Giants blue. So we're coloring in the jersey, coloring the face, the whole works. So we make the we make this whole thing. It came out pretty good for a bed sheet. Came out all right. So we're admiring it. We take a couple pictures, and now he's going to take the sheet because he's going to go to the game the next day or whatever it was. Lifts up the sheet, and there's the picture right there on my patio. It bled through no, the sheet, shit. and it probably That's was there for like funny. six months until the rain eventually no. washed it all away. Yeah, painted right through. It yeah, it bled there. totally through. That's tough to do on it. Bed sheet. Yeah. It's all material, too. Like, I can do, like, a, I do a lot of like watercolor. Watercolor paper, okay. pencil, pen, you know. No, I can't paint for it to save my pens. life. But, yeah, no. Bed sheet? No. I would, it's weird. It's so strange. I'd be out on yeah. that. I'd be like, nah. Nah, nah, nah. It'd be a nightmare. Uh, Bosi says he changed his mind as soon as you guys got into a certain topic. What does that mean? This is top quality internet radio, says uh, Miguel. Damn straight it is. Amen, brother. I have a tattoo on my face, on my of my face, on my face. What's wrong with elephant shit art? What is uh, wrong with elephant shit art? Uh, having four tattoos, they have come a long way from my first tat to my watercolor tattoos on top of my foot. Having nobody on your show just means they never showed up. But having no, man, oh okay. oh having a nobody oh don't call uh, hey be nice to Jessica. <laughs> <clears throat> um, I've been such a little bitch lately. I got my second <clears throat> tattoo last summer and it takes up like most of the right side of my uh leg and it uh, it's just so fucking itchy because it's my first winter with it oh yeah yeah and i'm like i'm like sitting there just like fiending like trying not to scratch it my girlfriend has like a ton of tattoos and like every time she sees me scratch it she fucking whacks me in the head she's like stop yeah, it they're they're you can't do it wait it's healed though it's healed. It's just itchy. I, th- I think it's just because it's yeah. dry and it gets drier faster than Sometimes, other skin. Sometimes, yeah, for whatever it yeah. is, there are some things in tattoos that will make make them itch from time to time. Um, Does color itch more than black? I don't. I don't know that okay. it's color. I don't know. You know, what? I think it really is more than anything. Is is it's because my it's tattoo a is deeper. gay. <laughs> it's just gay. It's gay, and it's God. <laughs> what just is doesn't it? Want it's pretty it. gay. I'll show you guys. Let's see. I'll, I'll put it on the up for the camera. So it's it's four colorful goats. Cartoony oh, goats. Right. Like a little anime kind of character. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Adam Purge. The Green Apple, I think. Green Do you know that? Tattoo. That sounds familiar. Yeah, I they're in uh, like Long Beach, I think, in that area. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, there's he, so many now that I can't remember. Where he's like is. the anime guy. Right, I think right, in like right. the tri-state, if you like are asking around for doing that, it's he's... a very specific style. Yeah, a for sure. A lot of people don't like getting into it. And uh, <clears throat> he said it was super gay. I thought it was going to be like Richard Simmons playing Frisbee or something, you know? <laughs> It's like just colorful enough that I think I can get away with calling yeah. it gay. It's yeah, it could be. It, what made you decide to put it there? Uh, it was too. The artist didn't think that it would look better smaller. I originally wanted to get him on the inside of my arm, and um, and he's like, "Not for nothing. I don't want to go smaller than this yeah. with the detail Figures and like what I was better. looking." Yeah. But part of it is like I, I play. It's it's from a game. It's from uh, if, if you guys know the word Yu Gi Oh. Yu Gi Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it's an shirts. anime, and they play cards, and it's a whole thing. But like, it's a card you play, and it summons the four goats. And I wanted to like play the card and be like, "Here they are, bitch, fight them." But uh, you can't do that. You can't do that on my leg. You can lift your leg up there. You can do it. <clears throat> yeah, no, in the summer, gotta wait. Yeah, <laughs> can't pull up these jeans. I see- Fat Jay is able to lift his leg up on the stage on top he of is. the stool. Yep. If he can do it, you can do it. Yeah. It's impressive. He's doing splits up But there. can he spin his leg around like I can on stage? Oh, that's painful. Not really. That's painful. I, in your head to see it like the wrong direction. That's, look up that's, that's half my stand-up. Even it's just, though it is. It's, it's just doing this, and the whole crowd is like, they don't know if they should laugh or not. I, and yeah, that uh, really, that's, that's what hilarious. I do. I never saw this. And then I do a bunch of one-legged bad jokes. Just just murders the phone set up. (laughs) Yeah, pretty much. Can you helicopter that thing around all the way? No, I mean, like, but it's not that loose that you could do that. I mean, if it could do that, then you'd have a lot of problems. He's going to get his pants tangled. Yeah, yeah, there it is. My Uh, pants are tangled. Helicopter dick. It doesn't hurt at all, but in my mind's eye, it looks so painful. Well, that's right, which is why I wear the long pants. If I go... Sometimes I'll go to a party, people on the dance floor. I'll go in the middle of the dance floor and I'll spin it. That's a move. That's yeah. ah, that's yeah. great. Yeah, that's I, no, yeah. No. I'm very proud it of just, myself. It like screws that. you up, like 
it shouldn't <clears throat> exist, but it does. Why did Jeff Bosley not want to come down? What yeah, was, I know. What's what wrong was the topic that? we were talking about? Yeah, I don't know. That possibly. I don't know what that uh, what he meant by that. Probably had something to do with being straight because he doesn't get involved in that. Maybe I called him out for <clears throat> the ellipses. Maybe he's an ellipse user with those three dots. Oh yeah, he's a punctuation Nazi. I don't know. He's just at home. No. With his semicolons or whatever. No, the guy doesn't, he doesn't even know how to, like, I, I yell at him all the time. His texts, sometimes, or sometimes he comments here. It takes me, like, an hour to figure out what the hell he said. Yeah, so, so, no, he's definitely not a punctuation Nazi. <laughs> he's just a weirdo. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, tattoo history buff. Ooh. Explain to me. <clears throat> yeah, And I'm assuming you're going to remember this. When I was a kid... Tattoos, I don't want to say they were frowned upon, but it was more of like a badass, a military or a prison oh, yeah. thing. Like yeah, it wasn't yeah, yeah. common. It wasn't even fully acceptable, in my opinion. Right, right. No, of course. How did, that was great. How? Oh, that was great? Was fucking the best time <clears throat> ever. Really? Why so? Uh, I used to call tattooing it was, it was the last outlaw profession mm. because we've oh. always made money. We oh, People are like, oh, you guys must be making more money now. Nope, actually less. Really? Less money now no than we made way. back then. Yeah, absolutely. All those Brooklyn girls covering up head to toe? You know what? We, we, we had less people tattooing, less mm. people respected us, less people cared uh. or interfered, but we were still <clears throat> tattooing. Like, I mean, I used to do 10 tattoos a day on average. Now I'm down to three to five at best. Right. You know, my dad was like double that, and and people before that would triple that. But you're so, down to five because you're leaving at five well, o'clock, no, like you of said course, earlier. But even still, even in the time period, it becomes <clears throat> yeah. a lot longer now. Because, mm-hmm. like what you said, we used to be bikers and stuff, right? Used to be some guy coming there, yeah, you give me that, you know, whatever parrot off the wall. Okay, cool, fine. Fifteen minutes, twenty minutes later, I'm done. It's it's all figured out. It's all done. Right. It's simple, easy, traditional Americana, which is what I love doing too. Um, but now you'll have some girl come in with some picture off of Pinterest on some screen cracked broken phone, and she's just like, "Oh my god, all I want <clears throat> is this with all." But I need like my birth numbers and signs, <laughs> and, I, and I need you know twenty two because that's my spirit angel number, and I need my uh, grandmother's you know ashes <clears throat> rubbed into it. Like I'm not doing that, right? Uh, so Get it out. takes me about forty <laughs> minutes to draw her tattoo, and then it's going to take me about ten minutes to do it, right? And I'm going to get the same amount of money as if I had just tattooed that parrot. All right, but that's you my know. question. When, ha, how, and how, and when did it be turned into that? Like, wh- how did yeah. it go from badass um, to all of a sudden, yeah, everybody wants one and it's commonplace? Sure, it's it's a combination of um, television and and uh, the internet. You know, because oh. tattooing, like when, when my dad was uh, in tattooing forever since like the eighties, and uh, he also for a while was doing stuff through uh, the Screen Actors Guild and all that. So he was like the background guy on all like <clears throat> TV shows, so oh, Law wow. and Order, and oh, Oz cool. and Sopranos. Like he was on all those shows, but he was always. Um, He's fully tattooed, bodysuit. So he's always, oh, dead guy in the bathroom, a guy that just overdosed, a guy in a prison fight, all those type of of things. So tattooing was not respected in the mainstream media. The, you know, nobody wanted you in tattooing. There was mm-hmm. no, there was no guy eating a Snickers bar advertising like you eat a Snickers. No, he, he was a junkie. Right. But then things changed. Now all of a sudden, all the tattoo people are cool, and so now all of a sudden they're all in you know whatever advertisements for Abercrombie and Fitch and and whatever <laughs> you know, Cinnabon or whatever it is stocks. It, it just yeah, they're they're you watch a show now and you're like that guy's a real person, you know. So the internet made it like popular, you know, Miami Ink, Ink Master, all that made it popular. Oh, the reality so, shows. Yeah, now all of a sudden it went from being like just a bunch of crackheads and drug addicts to that. I mean, the secret was it was never crackheads and drug addicts, but right. it was like, yeah, you're right. This is a pirate ship. Stay away from our shop. And it was wonderful. People would come in and <laughs> be wonderful. so well behaved mm. um, because, you know what? They all thought it was crazy. Oh, these guys are crazy. They're going to stab you. Like, right, yeah. Right. So now that that's all broken down, you know, I, I used to say like a bad Yelp review back in the day was a broken window and a, and a black eye. You know, I would fight a customer. That's what would happen now. Come on, really? Oh, my God. So many times. So many physical altercations. It was it was and I'm not a fighter, but I would <clears throat> I would rather that than what we have now. So now instead of me like punching someone in the face and kicking him down a flight of stairs, I have to deal with bad Yelp reviews from from a 20-year-old girl who doesn't understand why I wouldn't do her white ink tattoo on the bottom of her foot. <laughs> right, yeah. I'm literally in, in an argument. I'm like, I'm not doing that because it's not going to stay. 
you don't understand. Well, maybe because you don't know how to do it. I'm like, yeah, 30 years, and I just don't know how to do you know, a white infinity sign on the bottom of your foot. You're right. It's crazy, but it used That's to be back fun. in the day, like people were insane. And come well, in what would you fight about? Everything. Like like something like Everything. that? You Like they wanted a tattoo in a well, spot where it wouldn't take or something? People would just come in, and it was a different kind of era of people because, you know, you have to be an adventurous kind of person to come in and get a tattoo. You were a little bit out mm-hmm. there, you know? You, either you were a tough guy or a tough girl, or you thought you <clears> were. <throat> and so people would come in and just, you know, be, yeah, I want to get this, get that eagle off the wall. How much is that? 50 bucks? I'm like, nah, that's actually 80 bucks. 80 bucks? Nah, I'll give you 50. Nah, I'm not, I'm not taking 50. I'm t- it's 80 bucks. Come on, bro. You want you want to make some fucking money? And I'm like, no, nah, I don't need to make any money. And next thing you know, you're right. Then everybody's coming in for fifty, right? Would you would you get into a fight with that guy? And you'd physically and and I mean, it's not that long ago. Really? I, oh my god! All the time, it was great. It was great. It was great. I, I, I'll never forget my uncle because I was there and I was about like 16, 17. My uncle, I, I went to the Arsenery shop, which was uh, the main shop that my dad worked in. Before that, he had me working in all his other little shops, not with him because he wanted me to have like a real education and not be under his you know, eye. Sure. My uncle was there and he's like, hey, listen, here's the thing. When you throw people out here in Center Reach, you know, there's a stairwell that went right down in front of the shop. He's like, when you throw people out the door, um, you know, you're, you're not going to want to, but make sure you clear the first step. And I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, nah, nah. Make sure you, you push him past the first step. You know, then gravity will take over and they'll fall down the stair. And I'm like, what are, we the? Being, are we being serious right now? He's like, I'm telling you right now, you're going to throw somebody out and you're not going to clear that step and then they're going to come back in and they're going to punch you in the face. And I swear <laughs> to God, I thought he was insane. Three months later, some guy, I shoved him out the door and he came, like, he teetered right back and blasted me in the face and that was that was it. Yeah. Damn. Oh, no, it was insane. Like, things happened back in the day. Uh, it's weird because it's, it's like... The, the stuff that was happening in tattoo shops had ended in every other business in, like, the 60s. You know what I mean? You never heard stories about people getting <clears throat> into fights or stabbed or anything right. like that in a business. But tattooing up until the 90s? No, wait, wait, wait a minute. I'm confused. Nuts. Yeah. So you're telling me, like, in the 60s, if I went car shopping... And you do the same thing. Oh, oh you, you're asking two grand? No, I'll give you 15. You didn't right. get into a fist maybe, fight with maybe, the car salesman? Maybe not necessarily know. a normal business, but, like... Things things that were more violent were like they stopped. Well, like working in a bar or something with drunks. Like I don't know. I can, I'm trying to explain it to like another that. business <clears throat> of sorts that made sense. Like, I guess you're not necessarily like going to see vibe, that, right? but but yeah, I mean, the stuff that was not flying in regular businesses was happening in, in our in our shop. Up really, until at least the nineties. Yeah, I remember my friends being like, "Oh, when when I'm, a customer gets mad at me, I just have to take it." I'm like. What do you mean? Like, you have to listen to a customer talk shit to you? Disrespect you? Yeah, the customer's always right. It's, a, it's corporate, corporate retail, policy. Yeah, and I'd be like, I would yes, throw I people agree. out all the time. I'd be like, get your, your, no, you're wrong. I'm right. I have a baseball bat. Leave. And then it would happen. And, you know, that just stopped somewhere in the 90s. It just kind of wow. um, video cameras, the <clears throat> internet, all right. that. I mean, don't get me wrong. It wasn't ultra violence, but even like the tattoo shops themselves, like, there's bullet holes in the front of my dad's business still. Like, there's still Come bullet on. holes on the facade. Oh, like yeah. That. Oh, yeah. And, and I... That's yeah. legit. And how... Still these still fights are like... on well, stuff. But, yeah. yeah, no. Like, I I used to have a scrapbook of things that came through the window. And and just as many things went through other shop windows. What? I mean, oh, yeah. Tattoo has always yeah. been a very... But it's now... It's <clears throat> it's corporate happy. Yay. Right. But, like, I remember, like, finding stuff. Like, I was like, what is this, Dad? He's like, ah, oh, it's an alternator from a car. I guess someone was really mad. And I'm like, ah, oh, that's... Damn cameras, you can't get away with causing destruction anymore. It's great. I found a brick one time, and it went through a window, and then I found another brick in the street, and I was like, Dad, look, it says your name right on it. He's like, what? And it said, you know, hey, next next brick is for your head. And my, and I took the brick, and my dad's like a savage, put it on the mantle of the fireplace. It was like, look, that's that's the brick that's for my head. Oh, my goodness. But like, And shops would go on fire, and, and shops would get burned down, and oh, yeah. It was, uh, it was the wild I had no West. idea. And yeah, so... Customers would come in and get a little out of line, and you could do that. I mean, it started to taper off, but now I throwing people out is like, sir, you're going to have to leave. You're, you're going to have to go. <laughs> and I'm just like, I remember having an axe handle and just, you know. Well, I'm not a tough guy. This is not me being tough. Like, I, I'm, I'm a pansy ass. But, All right, well, yeah. give us an example then. Throw Brandon out. No, <laughs> I don't care throw nobody out now. Oh, wow. Yeah, it used I to be no tattooing idea. used to be fun. 
Um, but yeah, no one remembers that. Everyone's kind of like, ah, uh, now everyone's an artist. Everyone's uh, the old timers used to fight. Well, of course, they don't remember. They got a brick to the head. They don't. They, oh, they, it's a concussion. They don't CTE. remember. What, yeah. I talked to guys from like to a tattoo in like the fifties, sixties, seventies. Yeah, and, like, yikes. Some of them got stories that are not like I. I some of them should be doing time. <laughs> some of them should hundred percent be doing time. Crap. And the dudes I used to work with, like they were criminals. Criminals. Damn. That's I loved it. The craft. I loved it. Yeah, In yeah. Some dudes learn, but now it's not. Now it's like you're more apt to meet like a guy that's like, I love, <clears throat> I love Naruto, and I'm, I got my my, like Dan, Dan at the shop. <laughs> God bless him. I love him. But he's got those friggin' pop figurine characters, those little things. Yeah, the yeah, whole yeah. wall top. Do you know what we would have done to him back in the day? From a <laughs> baseball bat. These little pop. You seen them? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I've yeah. been smashing them through a wall with a bat. <laughs> yeah, I collect I collect Transformer toys and I throw shit. Pops yeah. are lame. There's so like they're, they're, I agree. As as a, as a fellow toy guy, come on, Dan, step up your toy. Not game. whatever, Dan. We used to collect drugs and pussy. Now we're collecting <laughs> cartoon shit. We used to collect drugs and pussy. Get an STD, and that was a badge of honor in the. All of our shop. pussy just sitting on a mantle on display. <laughs> Where'd you get that one? Can we say that word in here? I just said it. What, pussy? Yeah. I yes. Don't I don't know. Right, we said you it earlier. We can get away with anything. Yeah, We're governors, man. We can say anything yeah. we want. Wow. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you, Miguel, for following us. That's very nice. He hit the follow button. He's a gentleman. He's a good man. Uh, well, speaking of hobbies... Right, we were talking before. You're you're into trains. You were oh, I'm big time into trains. I was yeah. into trains as a kid, <clears throat> and uh, I have like you know like models, nice nice stuff. And then I put them away because I was trying to get pussy. And then, <laughs> lo and behold, I I meet this uh, this new girlfriend that I bring up on every episode of this, and I found out through the grapevine, which is Instagram, that she's into trains and also Ooh. somehow not <clears throat> retarded. Yeah, guys, <laughs> match made in. Match made in the island of Sodor. And, um, well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Found out through the grapevine. Uh, she had like a thing on Instagram that was just like, trains are cool. And then we were hanging out in person. And I was like, this, uh, is Ashton Kutcher about to pop out? Is that, am, I getting, <laughs> am I getting pranked? Yeah, what kind of train? Like, you didn't just see trains at her house? No. Oh. Like I said, just on, on her social media. It was like oh. a thing. And uh, it kind of inspired me to dig all my train shit out of the attic, and now I'm uh, happy as a fucking clam. I go home, I drive my drive the boys around the yard, park them. <clears throat> it I don't it just makes my brain do a happy. I don't I don't know why. I don't know. You know what I mean? It's just well, I think be- well before we went on the air, we were talking about this a little bit, and I think part of it what makes you happy is because you said you do it a lot after smoking. Oh yeah, no, it's a yeah. good. I mean, I'll, I'll do it sober for all day. Oh really? But I'm, when I'm convincing like my normal friends to hang out and look at my trains, I'm like, get fucked up. Uh, you'll get it. You'll you'll see what's going on in my brain once you just uh, get a little get a little swifty. And uh, <laughs> now, no, I like it. I have a good time. Collect, like you know, your your specific like scale with it. <clears throat> you were saying yeah, end scale for. Right. Uh, what does that mean? It's, it's just the size. So like the tracks maybe are like that far apart, and then like you know locomotive might be that long. Yeah, you know, okay. they're 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 very tiny. I would go into hobby shops as a, as a child and be like, I you know I'm looking for end scale stuff, and they'd be like, you're eight. That doesn't make sense. It's because it's too small. Like they're like, oh, if you're like a surgeon, you get into end scale because it's so tiny. But then they also have Z scale, which is like even just ridiculous. Oh no, kidding! Like you put that in a coffee table, you put glass on top wow. of it. Yeah, that's that's the fun. Kind of neat. It's super. Yeah, that is kind of neat. Yeah, like one of those like sunken <clears throat> coffee tables. That's pretty cool. Carol, I'm sorry, you don't know what you're talking about. I hope you're not a comedy booker. You you're an idiot. O scale sucks. That's Lionel. Lionel sucks. It's too big. It's got three rails. There's like a good reason why, but it looks like shit because you know real train tracks, they got two rails. And uh, I just don't think it looks good. They look they look like toys, a, a, o, o scale. <clears throat> so, somehow when you get tiny, it, it like looks better. So uh, so, you know, you guys, <laughs> so, so nerdy to be like you would know n scales for losing. Like wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I knew that was gonna happen. So that's why I was worried. Like when you met your girl, like if she was, you know, she's like, oh, I like H O scale, and you were just like, oh no. no. <laughs> but this it's is right so up your alley. Cool, you know? you want to get back to the fighting days? Apparently that this is where to go. Yeah, imagine that you guys are just beating the shit out <laughs> yeah, of each other trains within fandoms. Just fight like yeah, no. Um, be like when they shot Bobby Bacala on The Sopranos. In the I hobby need to watch shop. that show. Oh, sorry. I really just, need to watch I'm that show. Whole, I was right up to that episode. No, no, she loves when I run a train on her. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <clears throat> so, 
That, yeah, that, that is cool. How, how expensive is it? Uh, too expensive. I, I'm currently trying not to spend money on it because um, I find that if I go to, like, the, the swap meets and, like, train shows, because they're around. I, I forgot that they were around. Uh, if you go and are just nice, and, like, everyone's, like, 95 years old, and they'll just, like, they'll just give you free shit. Oh, <laughs> yeah? Yeah, yeah a, a very nice uh, gentleman, Rich, gave me, uh, gave me, like, a $200 locomotive just for being a good hang a couple weeks ago. Wow. And uh, that was the one I showed you. That was the joint train. Yes, okay. Because yes. uh, we, had, we had this open flatbed, and it was, like, the perfect size for a joint and a lighter. So we were, we were running drugs, like, <laughs> like trailer park boys. Like <laughs> Drug train. Miguel says, actually, sometimes when it's tiny, it looks better. That's you um, pr- probably saying that on a regular basis, yeah. He knows me so well. <laughs> <laughs> well, and it, the, the, the old man gave you this $200 train, and he wasn't looking at you like, hey, 20-something. Bang my granddaughter. No, bang him. Wow, he's selling her too. No, he yeah. was, keep the train. I'll yeah. pimping out your, his uh, little grand. Uh, well, if he's ninety, his granddaughter's probably sixty. So I'm, I'm in. Yeah, right, that's true. I'm yeah. in. <laughs> Introduce in me. <laughs> <laughs> um, that would explain all the track marks. Ah. <laughs> train. Just, um. <clears throat> um, it, it is kind of like a dying breed, huh? Or no? No, I don't think so. Like, no? I, I think I think that's why they're so nice to the younger folks that show up to the meetings because they're just like, please keep this hobby going. Mm-hmm. Uh, but no, that's the thing. There's people out there like like my girlfriend who like she never. I don't think she like owns models or anything, but she's like into it to the point where she'll like we'll go to shows and right. spend an hour oh, yeah. walk around, look at the layouts because it's like fun. You know, it's like it's it's three D art. You know, it's like yeah. doing little scenes. Sure. And honestly, once I'm at the point, I'm not there yet where I'm like, you know, I'm putting like a fake road down. Like, I want to do funny scenes. I want to do like oh, a guy taking funny. a, like putting a body in the back of a car. Oh, wow. Because like yeah, the body, yeah, you know, the guy, people are like that big. Right, in this right. So it's like, it's, it can, yeah. you can get really funny with it. A couple of I, people in the backseat of a car or something. Exactly. Like, like fucking, like I, I saw on, on Reddit, there was a guy who did a, like a, a dumpster fire scene. And it's like a little LED and a 3D printed dumpster that has like a little bit of cotton coming out of it. And then yeah. it like blinks different colors to look like it's on fire oh that's funny well, you can get really funny with it right and that is exactly that's where i want to live all right you are gonna make one of your scenes make it uh make it a scene from one of your broken mics like actually like make your like actually have a guy that looks like you and hugh and whoever else is there well, get your little indoor. audience oh, yeah that's true yeah, yeah all right well you don't have to put a roof know, on it but you know what i was thinking uh, but i want to put a roof on because i want to look i want it to look like i'm in a helicopter and i'm not re- you know what i mean <clears> i'm looking down on this i would put a comedy club on my layout yeah. all right then have andy Plajanos and billy guy are outside of it smoking, smoking weed. A joint, yeah <laughs> <laughs> big time <laughs> that's true they I'm would be super into that <laughs> yeah that's funny wow that's wild yeah <clears throat> I, I don't know how I get laid either. I don't get it. <laughs> well, yeah, you definitely, being that she's into it too, into the trains too, That I mean, that's oh, a keeper. I was done for, man. Yeah, I was absolutely done right. for. And I found out she was into trains and, like, <clears throat> yeah. you know, didn't wasn't, like, drooling out the side of her mouth constantly. <laughs> I was so like, is it just the trains or is it the whole, the miniatures in general? Like, because it's a whole village going on. Creating there. a world. It's a yeah. god complex, isn't it? Is oh, that? big yeah. time, big time. I always time. wondered if that's what it was, just to have, like, that scene, like, the dumpster, like, screw your village, it's on fire now. You know? <laughs> I think it's both, because, like, I'll, I'll do just the trains with no scene, because um, there's something, like, I don't know, satisfying about it. And then steam engines that have, like, you know, the rods on the wheels, like yeah, that. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That, that perks like up my mental illness, you know? But do you go to, like, actual like actual real trains? Do you have a fan of, like, real trains at all? I'll go to a museum, absolutely. Okay. Oh, my God, yeah, yeah. Stra- shout out Strasburg, Pennsylvania. You go there. Oh, yeah, they do. They run, uh, yeah, they run, uh, they still run steam engines. They have, like, oh, a museum wow. across the street, and it's... Uh, right here in Wanto, they have one. The... Wanta. It's a town. Really? Yeah, yeah, but because no, I know my train shit, and I just don't know. I don't it's know only Wanto. one car. Oh, That's okay, all there okay. is. No, because like you go out to Greenpoint has a train museum. Oyster Bay has a train museum. <clears throat> Oyster Bay has a train museum. They sure do. It's like kind of hidden over by the beach. Really? Yep. So I know Oyster Bay well. I, I, I'm. Yeah, so... hit it up. It's a good time. It's all quite right. the park. Yeah. Um, and then Yapank is my favorite. Yapank State Park has a place called uh, Long Island Live Steamers. And so the tracks are like this wide, and then they're wow. like that high off the ground, and you like squat inside, and they like and you ride through no the forest. Way. <laughs> yeah, and no, it's super fun. You go there fucked up. It's a great time. I couldn't go there though. Yeah, you can. Like, I'm too fat for that. No, you're not. You should see the people driving the trains. They're like oh, 400 man. pounds. You're That's good. Crazy. You're good by a mile. 
And, the, wow. and the, the cool thing is, like, some of them are, like, diesel electric, but then some of them are miniature steam engines, which oh, oh, lights my brain up big time. <laughs> You can join the club. It's like I would say I want to say it's like less than a hundred bucks a year. You can That's go pretty cool. run a train, <clears throat> and then there's a gun range like right next door, so you could like ride trains through the forest and shoot guns. Hell Ooh. of a day. That's Hell a of good, a day. It's just like Buffalo Bill Cody. You just <laughs> take it out buffaloes as you're riding along. <laughs> the it's great. What an, maybe you make it like a little scale down. Maybe an air rifle, and you're shooting like fake buffalo, or just dudes dressed in buffalo costumes. <laughs> they, they, if they jazz it up, it would be the coolest thing on Long Island. That yeah, that does sound like fun. <laughs> Long Island Live Steamers is where Brandon met his girlfriend. Dude, I wish I wish I met her there and not crab trees in Huntington. <laughs> crab trees. Oh yeah, that's wow. <clears throat> yeah. I, I mean, no, it's it's, it's not because it of the place; here, it's because right? of the name. Just sounds like where'd you meet her at? Uh, crab trees. Well, that was the teacher's name in the, in the Little Rascals, Mrs. Crabtree. Yeah. Just, See, that's uh, all full circle here, baby. It's just crabs. Like what? No, don't say crabs. It was all planned. We just went full circle. Does the end of the day wind up like deliverance? I don't get it. Uh, that would explain you being in a caboose all the time. Ned Beatty's getting fucked in the butt. <laughs> yeah, I love how I love how that so, comment well, got flagged involved. by the bot. <clears throat> yes, it did. The word caboose. Yep. In Actually, caboose. fun funny story. You guys, you guys are familiar with Grand Theft Auto, right? Yeah. yeah so yeah. I'm playing online, and you can make like a gang, so all your friends get like bonuses for being in the same gang and doing shit. And me and my buddy. The whole gimmick was we were all just going to wear vests, and we were going to be uh, the vestibules. <laughs> and they didn't let us use the name vestibule because it's slang for pussy in, like, different parts of the world. What? It is? Because it's, like, the entrance <laughs> way. Yeah, you're alive like, welcome like... to the vestibule, boys. And I have like, never yeah. heard this. Me I would neither. like to uh, we were have coitus hits. to the vestibule. Like, mm, yeah, it's quite real. Well, let me get in your vestibule, madam. Uh, no, it was it was really stupid because we, re- we were really committed to this vest gimmick. <laughs> So weird. <laughs> yeah. Well, what else could word could you use for with your vests? Uh, but the name we picked was so lame that we the vestibles. The gang. No, we we went so the 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 name of the city in that game is Los Santos or LS, and uh, we were the vest of LS. It was bad. It is bad, I but I understand it. because you, yeah, you we couldn't, couldn't use be the vestibules. vestibles. Yeah. yeah, I've I've never heard that. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I can I can imagine uh, you know. Girl just getting completely wet when hearing that. Let me get in your vestibule tonight. Oh, oh man, that oh. sultry baritone. Yeah. Mm, baby, let me get in that vestibule. My Barry White voice. I don't think anybody Could uses be. vestibule. Like, who who vestibule? Is? Definitely not us. Uh, it's no, I've be never heard that anywhere. It's got to be Australians. You have to Australians. Have a, you have a house, like a nice house in order to say vestibule. You know? Yes, right, exactly. <laughs> Welcome to my wife's vestibule. Yeah, there's some <laughs> things right. that you just don't, you know. Well, uh, we should make one up. Let's, like, I don't know. Well, yeah, because, yeah, you have to be, like, rich to have a vestibule. Yeah. So for us, it would be like, let me get in your carport. Your carport. <laughs> yeah, like, that would be our level. Yeah. <laughs> let me get in that screen door. <laughs> <laughs> let me get in the foyer. Yeah. Why Why does it all of a sudden have, like, a New England accent? Yeah, yeah right. I don't know. <laughs> hey, put this in the boner garage. <laughs> <laughs> Boner garage. <laughs> All right, it is uh, just about time for us to go. Um, oh, I was going to talk baseball and stuff, but who cares? We were just uh, we're having a good time here. Um, so before we go, what what do we got coming up this weekend? You guys working anywhere? Yeah. Where can we see you? Go ahead, Rob. You tell us where. Oh, what do we got this weekend? Let me look at the thing because I'm an idiot and I don't remember anything that I do. <clears throat> um, right, I'll go while you're looking. Yeah, go ahead. I only yeah, got yeah, one. Yeah. I only got one. Uh, sure. Tomorrow is the last free Huntington haha in industry in downtown Huntington. So we're doing that one. Is a no cover happy hour show, six to seven, like uh, basically eight p.m. What does that mean? What starting next week you have to or next month you have to what, pay? Yeah. So in wow. May uh, we're going to keep the same name for the show. You know the terrible name, the Huntington haha. Uh, but it's going to be every Tuesday in the month of May, uh, $10 cover. And if we, uh, I'll just be transparent with all y'all. If we sell all these out, it's going to be the sickest weekly show on Long Island. Cause we're just going to be able to get, you know, talent from everywhere. Yeah. Um, cool. and, uh, it's going to be a good time. That's Let me great. Know Tuesday in May. You want to come through? Yeah. Yeah, uh, definitely. Cause definitely. I really, off, so yeah. Definitely, I'm trying to I'm trying to make it the best thing I can be because I love that venue industry. It's just best live music venue on Long Island. I've yeah, a lot of people 
have told me that what a great atmosphere oh, and what a great so place it is. Yeah, a good time. In fact, Andy, right? Didn't Andy just post something about it? He's on tomorrow's show. Oh, Andy is. He was. He was. He's on tomorrow's <coughs> show, and he was on the first one we ever did in October, and uh, which was the Halloween show. So he did his uh, Dracula show. Nice. No, yeah, 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 yeah. no fucking way. <laughs> this Andy. was my Halloween uh, mask last <laughs> this past Halloween. I can only get so erect. Look at that, <laughs> look at that mustache. Yep. I just uh, villain. But that's tomorrow night? Yeah. All right, because Andy, o'clock. I know Andy's away, and he's not doing, he's my Friday guy in here, and he's not doing the show tomorrow because he's away. So I hope he oh, makes man. it to you. I hope he's not. Me too. Maybe I goofed. It's very possible. No, he, he did tell me that there was a slight chance he could make it here, but he didn't think so. Gotcha. All right, so that's. Um, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Industry in oh, Huntington, nice. <clears throat> New York. All right, Rob, what do you got? Sweet. I, uh. I don't have anything tomorrow, which uh, so it's uh, that's a free and clear day, which is is fun and interesting. But I, I do have on the eighth. I got to go to Ardsley, Ardsley, New York, to go to the Sawmill Tavern and do a little show up there. Nice. Um, <clears throat> you know, then I got a bunch of stuff. I got to go away for a tattoo convention, do a university show. But uh, the next big show that I would push for is the twenty second, April twenty second here at uh, for Governors at uh, the McGuire's. McGuire's Comedy Club uh, nice. through Governors in Bohemia. So mm-hmm. that's going to be a good show. That's going to be with uh, Terry McNeely <clears throat> and uh, uh, Tony Landolfi and, and uh, oh, all that cast Those crew. two guys are oh, nuts. Yeah. Hilarious. <laughs> Hilarious. We, yep. We've done a few shows uh, at McGuire's together with the whole crew that he has over there. I can't remember who else is on the show. My apologies on that. But um, definitely, definitely it was a good show the last two times. Um, they practically sold out. Oh, yeah. So I just tell people, like, Go. Go to that show. That's going to be a good show. 22nd at McGuire's. How do you get like a university or an Ardsley, New York? How do you uh, how do you get that? You, somebody? No, all different people. I'm just constantly getting up as much as I can. Yeah, you've been you've been pushing hard. Yeah, just try to like make up for lost time, you know. And um, yeah, the the university <clears> is uh, my cousin's head of athletics out there. Oh, okay. And so they do a show every year, and I was like, we could we could definitely make that happen. Nice. So nice. A bunch of us going up for that. And, yeah, uh, you gave you get, you stopped for what for how long? Ten years. Ten years. Yeah. Because I I, I gave up acting for for seven years, and I was like. I was going nuts, so I I was thrilled to get when I got back into it. Yeah, it's a weird thing. I, I didn't, I, you know, when I was doing it, I was fine. Everything was good. I I got into a way. I disappeared. And I thought I'll never do this again. But it gets into your blood. It now does. That I've been back for for almost two years. I'm like uh, running and gunning and just trying to make up for lost time and get back with. Uh, oh yeah. Get wow. back to where I was and then Good further you. on, you know. So. Oh, yeah. Bosi says Rich Walker. Is that, is yeah, that tomorrow? Rich, yeah, he's on oh, the Rich, show tomorrow. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Why? I don't no, I'm know. kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't know why he did it. He's, oh, he's out, uh, guy. more than when I'm fucking paying comics. I appreciate him coming on. No, Rich, cool. Rich is great. Yeah. Uh, very nice. All right. So, uh, yeah, we're out of here. Thank you, Rob. Thank you for having me as always. Anytime, pal. It. Now that you're, uh, now that we popped your cherry, you got to get you in here more. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. I appreciate it. And now you're our Thursday, Thursday guy. Days. I put it on my Mr. calendar. Thursday. This is cool. Right. Cool. That's great. Sweet. Very nice. Uh, so what do we got here? Today is Thursday, so there's nothing tonight, right? No, there's nothing tonight. So we're back here tomorrow. Um, yeah, we're back here tomorrow. Don Versations uh, with Don Till is t- is tomorrow night. And uh, there's no live from Governor's Green Room this weekend. It's the holiday weekend. Oh, that's what I wanted to mention, too. I was here last Sunday. I saw you. You were yeah, here. Yeah, right, right. <clears throat> and I couldn't stay, but I just I had to talk to James really quick, right? So I go in. I talk to him. And I, and he says to me, he goes, oh. And he calls me Walker. He's like, Walker, I got too many comedians tonight. I didn't know you were coming. I, I, you know, I would have put you yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, I said, no, I didn't come here for that. It's totally fine. I mean, most of the time I'm here because, you know, I'm not going up because, you know, which makes sense. Um, but he says, he says, come come Thursday. He says, you know, I'll put you up Thursday. I'm like, all right, great. Thanks, James. Like, you know, I didn't ask, but yeah, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. But there's nothing on their website. Like, I don't, and today. it's a, it's Holy Thursday. I don't know if they, I don't know, but I, I don't think they're, I don't even know if they're open tonight. <laughs> so I, I don't know. Unless he's, maybe maybe he's going to murder me. I don't know. Maybe yeah, that's, maybe there'll know. be nobody else here but me that's and him. That's a good way to go. Today's Ma- the 6th, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, There's tomorrow, nothing on the tomorrow, website. There's stuff at, at Bohemia. Right. And uh, as far as Levittown goes, there's nothing here. Yeah, because I checked earlier. I was <clears throat> any, trying any to the, do the hustle. What about the other two? Are any uh, of the other? I don't yeah, think the Bohemia's other ones are open. Bohemia's got nothing. Levittown's got nothing. Uh, do they post the fundraisers got on the website? They usually usually put it on like Stars of Tomorrow or something oh, yeah. funny. Yeah. I mean, there are times they don't, so maybe there yeah. is a fundraiser tonight. Yeah. That, 
so Anytime I've been booked on a fundraiser, there was nothing on the website, and I was just yeah. like, oh my god, if this is if this is like I'm getting bamboozled. <laughs> like, I know, I, I am kind of wondering, like, yeah. what's going on? But, uh, Bosi, I saw an order for large garbage bags going there yesterday. What? He's talking oh, about talking about I'm going to get murdered. I see. Get whacked. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get uh, on the cement plastic. boots for me. Uh, this it. is uh, so. This is my last show. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> so, uh, all right. So, come on for you being murdered. Um, all right. Well, thanks for hanging out with us today. Once again, Ben Affleck and Jim Belushi were here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> there we go. Uh, thank you, guys. This, this is a lot of fun today. Thanks, guys. Right, yeah, um, thanks for me. Absolutely. All right. You guys enjoy the rest of your Thursday. And uh, we'll see you later.